Alrighty, it is May 28th, 2019 at roughly 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This video is for Joseph Brady. Joseph, this is your custom redesigned Halo 4 Edition send-in. Got the customized 3D printed Halo 4 emblem in there and the aqua LEDs to match the front ring of light and she's already booting as you can see so we'll go ahead and get over to the system itself and I do apologize for the camera I'm trying to do this on a stand and as you can see by the notification there uh, XB online is already installed on the console and I have it booting directly into dream theme for the time being and I know that I've sent you pictures and images all throughout the process but we'll and it's just right there telling you to go ahead and purchase new time I'll go ahead and run through everything that was on here again and when you first start it up sometimes it does take freestyle dash a little bit to load up all of the game covers So there's all the 360 games and the Xbox Live Arcade games. Again, I couldn't get those uh, South Park ones or Mark of the Ninja. Couldn't find them online. Um, and you'll notice that there may only be nine of the Xbox Live Arcade games listed here. But I did go ahead and put some of them. Um, you'll notice the ones that have the kind of orange background uh, in with the 360 games just based on you know, the cover that they have, really, how it has the green trim around it up at the top. Then for your homebrew, got links to anything that you may need in here. XM360 Dash Launch, directly back to Freestyle Dash, Simple 360 NAND Flasher. Um, generally won't really need to be using these too much, but I did go ahead and put custom uh, covers on them anyway and same thing with the emulators which as we've already been over they do contain full North American libraries of Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, uh, and Sega Master System. And I know you specifically said you wanted to see Lollipop Chainsaw loading up because that was one of the custom requests that you had made uh, which by the way I actually already did test it but since you want to see it Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and <clears throat> skip through as much of this as I possibly can. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, see, we're going to go ahead and not start from the next checkpoint. I guess we have to go through that. Let's actually get some volume on this.
Oh, my controller died. Haha. Uh -huh. Not an issue with the game, just the controller dying. No worries. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and skip this. It's going to become a reoccurring problem with the controller batteries. Alright, so you get the general idea. It is working. So let's go back to the dashboard. And just so you can see how I'm not used to there being so many Assassin's Creed games at the beginning. Mod menus work. Oh, hold on a second. I know why that is. See if I can get it to stop fatal crashing there. Nope, okay, we're just going to restart the Xbox. That is uh, pretty much what ends up happening because XB Online has their own built in cheats for the Call of Duty games. And when I put on versions that already have the mod menus installed via GSC, uh, they don't play well together, and therefore that's what you get with the whole crashing of the Xbox. So, give me a couple seconds to get in there and reboot it. And take off the cheats. Yeah, and this console actually does boot very quickly. Um, sometimes it can take up to about 10 seconds for uh, RG8 consoles to boot, but yours generally does it um, in under 2 seconds, which is pretty quick. Alright, and now we should be good to go. And you can quick launch whatever game it was you last played just by going to that area that I was on and hitting Y. XB Online makes it so that it automatically loads into multiplayer, I believe. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is just do local for now and start match. And 
again, as you can see, you got your little rainbow text goodie stuff up there. Uh, that's the Jiggy 4.2 notification. To open this mod menu, it's going to be aim, which is left trigger, and knife, which is uh, clicking down on the right joystick, so R3. Oh, my mistake. Uh, left trigger and B. Keep forgetting that knife is different. All right, so yeah, you got your pretty much your main setup here. Let's give ourselves God mode and infinite ammo. And as you can see, it's working. So we're not running out of any ammo. And let's go ahead and teleport here. And let's go over here. There you go. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, again, each mod menu does have a different uh, button combination needed to open it. Um, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. Modern Warfare 3 one is easy. You just have to press right on the uh, joy pad or on the uh, directional pad, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and each of the menus actually should tell you uh, what the button combination to press is to open it. So uh, yeah, there you go. Here is your 100% completed customized Halo 4 Corona Slim RGH. Um, thank you for choosing PQ Customs Mod Jobs for your modified console needs, and uh, have a great day.